The one thing I love, I suppose, about what I do every day is that I get to solve problems that help people, businesses, communities and the environment. And I'm working on two specific energy efficiency programs. Uh, so a lot of time is project management, sending emails, having meetings with a variety of different teams in the organisation. And also other, I suppose, on interesting days, I get to go out and visit sites, visit people and, and projects that, and organisations that are doing energy efficiency projects. Uh, the sites I'll be visiting, I suppose, are everything from your small shops to your large uh, manufacturing facilities or colleges or public sector and the large industry and who would be involved in, in programmes that we run uh, in SEI. What first attracted me to, to engineering really was Probably my favourite school, uh, favourite subjects in school uh, would have been maths, uh, technical drawing, construction, physics. So they all pointed towards the, the engineering pathway, um, and that's the, I went. That's the route I went down. I, I picked civil engineering uh, in college, and then went on to do a masters in energy uh, management. So that kind of pointed, and that's kind of suits exactly where I am today. What I enjoy about my work is. It's very people orientated, uh, you get to work with a variety of people um, across a variety of disciplines whether it's working with the marketing team to develop websites or working with the technical uh, energy managers or engineers in the organisation to evaluate energy efficiency projects who might be coming into our, our grant application, um, our grant schemes. So I suppose it's mainly the variety, the, the, I suppose I get to solve problems, uh, I get to show innovation uh, and I get to meet and see different people all over Ireland. When I finished college, um, work was at a premium. I suppose a lot of my class would have uh, went on to, to go back, to, would have went on to London or Australia to get work in uh, civil engineering, or likewise some of them went back and got into finance um, or software engineering, which kind of proved that I suppose the skill set that you get from from engineering and, and STEM careers in general is is very transferable across a number of different uh, career paths and sectors either inside the engineering and, and STEM world or, or outside. So it's not that you, you ultimately need to know exactly what you're going to be doing 20 years time. Uh, that engineering and STEM pathway gives you a real uh, useful and, and transferable set of skills. What's your passions? Uh, because I suppose that's the ultimate goal here is to chase what you enjoy doing and, and turn that into a career. So first thing is to obviously find out what your passions are and go after that. Like I did with my favourite subjects, uh, I went down, I suppose I went down that route and I picked a career that was suitable to match my passions. So I think that's the, the key thing for me is your career choice should match your, your passions and the things you like to do every day. And I suppose money should be a, uh, I suppose a, 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 an aside to that. The technologies I use every day are very much computer-based technologies. So for evaluating projects and so very much Microsoft Excel um, uh, would be the main tool I use um, on working on even on our own our own organizations uh, I'd be would lead, leading the coordination of an energy management system uh, implementation so that means analyzing data communicating data uh, and and I suppose communicating that back to, to staff uh, in terms of energy awareness um, then with with the program I'm working on at the minute I get to see all sorts of technologies whether it's LED lighting technologies, uh, renewable heat technologies such as heat pumps uh, and also other renewable forms of energy such as wind. So we get to see a variety of these technologies implemented in the projects we're uh, supporting. Well, I work on the development team uh, in SCI which would be very much focused on I suppose, developing organisational uh, programs, uh, business and, and IT infrastructure uh, and, on, and energy management and health and safety uh, within the organisation. Uh, so it's a wide remit. Uh, I, I work with, I suppose, a lot of people who would be uh, specialists in the IT area, uh, uh, project managers, uh, the technical engineers who would have up on 20 years experience working on uh, energy management projects. Um, and also then, I suppose, you're working with technical IT staff who would be carrying out user acceptance and testing on various programs and IT um, infrastructure that we would be implementing in the organisation. One thing I've learned since joining uh, SCI is the, 
And again, with the, the work I'm doing is getting to work with the IT staff, whether it's building a platform that I need to, to manage the grand scheme uh, coordination or it's working with the marketing team to develop a website to promote our program. Um, and you get to see and learn the different traits, characteristics uh, uh, and qualities, I suppose, and skills of all these different people and kind of see how you can relate it back to the work you do. And you pick up learnings and then you try to, I suppose, implement the good stuff uh, in your own everyday work. Characteristics that I was associated with people in STEM careers or engineering would be analytical, uh, creative, uh, and kind of energized by solving problems uh, that help either people, communities, businesses, uh, etc. Um, but and inquisitive, I suppose, is probably another way of putting it. And someone that enjoys being creative uh, every day and, and putting their, I suppose, imagination to the test.